So how do you know, okay, this is this one, okay, I can vibe with this one. Where heads at actually. Mm. Like you don't want to be talking to someone you feel like, you know, you're alone in a room type of thing. Mm. Do you, I don't know if you get me. I get you, but I feel like you only know the head after you've smashed, you know? Nah, not well, like you don't meet a girl and say, How's your head? No, 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 I do I mean, then they give me head. <laughs> 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 Your head is good. <laughs> Ten out of ten. Welcome to a special edition of Podcast and Chill. You know why it's special today, sir? Why? Because I feel like I'm sitting next to a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's been in my head for years, bro. <laughs> Frank Casino, what's happening, dog? Easy, How are you, dog? Welcome, 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 welcome bro. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Everybody's Easy. asking themselves, man, where have you been, Where's bro? This ghost? Yeah, bro. <sighs> and we're not talking about ghost lady. <laughs> 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 hey, you haven't been around like how many years? Three years? Uh, Four? No, no, no. It's not that long. I'd say two. Two, ne? Yeah, two Shh. in a way. Yeah, it's like two. But I mean, that's the I'm, thing. I'm here and there. That's the thing in this game. Two years feels like a lifetime. A long time, no? Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's been happening in the past two years? Uh, I guess I've been trying to figure myself out, you know, exploring different things. Yeah. Like in life. Different women, you know? Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just uh, in terms of like, you know, business, man, money, you know, yeah. uh, trying to learn uh, as much as I can and better the relationships that I have in terms of the future. I think uh, that's that's me putting it in a nutshell, it's yeah. pretty much what I've been up to. And also I've been making music for sure. Oh, for real? Know? Yeah. Shit. But uh, I, in terms of making music... Getting into the studio and making a song is not difficult, especially mm. if you've been making music, mm. right? And you're talented like yourself. Thank you. Mm. Um, but you need to feel the song, I feel. Mm. You know? I want to enjoy my own music. You know, I don't want to like play a song. Yeah, sure, I can have friends that enjoy it and say the song is sick or whatever the case is, right? But I need to feel it. Like I need to feel it emotionally or whatever and say I really like the song. And when I put it out, I have no doubts or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now it's different when you have music that you're not sure about, mm. I think, and you put it out and let's say it goes south for you. Mm. Whatever your idea of south is, then yeah. you're like, fuck. Yeah. You know, I knew it. Yeah. Type of thing, you know. So it's been that type of journey for me in terms of music and trying to find my own sound, you know. There's still that battle, but I wouldn't say, I mean, I know who I am musically. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, one that's going to, separate me from everybody else what were you doing before the whole thing before it blew up uh, uh just making music yeah i was uh before it blew up yeah i mean that year 2015 2014 i spent a lot of time at home making music yeah you know like learning how to record mm. all that stuff trying to put like music out which we did when we had different goals then you know like seeing your music video on tv yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. Big hearing thing. it on radio hearing it on radio yeah, you know yeah, and yeah. then like i remember in those years i just got to like a fucking point you know and i said now nah, i'm just gonna make music and i'm just gonna put it out from here mm. that whole submitting vibe you know mm. it's just too much of a process for me and i just don't want to go through that type of stuff anymore so i said i'm just gonna put my music out from soundcloud mm. from here at home 
But luckily I had internet so I could just upload the stuff when I'm done. Yeah. You know. Cause I actually bought a studio for myself, like a setup. And I've said it many times, I've sold my car that I had, which for was an Opel real? Cadet. Shit. Yeah. For you the know, studio. I got from home from the studio. Yeah. Yeah, and oh. that nigga tried to play me. <laughs> that nigga that was buying the car. <laughs> Why did you set up and buy a Gumtree or something? What? <laughs> nah. You know those vibes, Gumtree oh, vibes. Oh, Gumtree. <laughs> no, yeah, I bought it on Gumtree actually. Is like it? we were just lucky because the guy was selling uh, the whole setup, and um, what was it? He was going somewhere out the country to be on a boat. Yeah. You know uh, that type of vibe. Must be a white guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no black person trying to be on a boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was actually. Yeah. I mean, he still is. <laughs> <laughs> No black person trying to be on a boat unless they're being forced <laughs> to be slaves in the US. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, and then he sold his like uh, whole setup. Oh shit! Yeah, and then I was still short, like uh, I think like I think it was five k. Yeah, and I was telling my old man, oh, come on, bro. Yeah, you know, I did the rest. And give me a young five k. Five man, you know, and then yeah, I got I got the laptop and yeah, we started setting it up. With dolls and then yeah. And your dad was a DJ, ne? He was a DJ, yeah. Oh yeah. wow. He was a DJ, yeah. He was a DJ. Yeah, back in his time, you know, I was still too young too, you know. Who uh, fit was Fit Cook or Mahuto? Which one? <laughs> nah, none of them guys. <laughs> <laughs> Those are OGs, man. <laughs> real guys, real guys, yeah. What uh, was he playing? I used to play uh house music and uh, a lot of hip-hop actually for real yeah what was his name i don't in know in a way uh, his name was then uh, dj sobri boys mm. yeah that's what he used to call himself you know we used to have my grandfather used to own a club uh in tembisa calls nigga at the time oh yeah yeah I, I, i've been to that club yeah he used to do some hip-hop show yeah, 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 yeah. That was a Cl- while ago. So. It's Nico, right? <laughs> it's Nico. It's Nico, right? It's Nico, yeah, yeah, that's the club. Yeah, yeah. very red inside. It's yeah, got yeah. Like it was actually really. It was. It was. Re- it was fresh, bro. It was one of the freshest clubs that you know. Yeah, I think existed, especially I for the time. That club. Um, so you were grooving with his dad? Nah, man. This is like <laughs> I was still a rapper in high school. This is like two thousand and six, two thousand and four, five. Got that tour? You know the got tour? Got that tour? No, yeah. I don't know that. You don't know that one? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, that was, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I used to DJ there. And, mm-hmm. yeah, and, you know, he had friends in that space that he made. And, yeah, I mean, he used to play a lot of music then. Mm. And I would just, you know, uh, by virtue of the relationship, because I'm there, I'd hear it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dope. And, yeah. Shit, man. I mean. Isn't it crazy how when you leave, quote unquote, the industry, mm-hmm. how, like, so many people now don't want to be associated with you because you're not hot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like you were. Did, did you go through that as well? No, I don't I don't feel like I went through that experience, to be honest. I don't feel like, you know, like I'm not hot or whatever, you know. I feel like, uh, I still feel the same, to be honest, you mm. know. And the people, the peers that I know and stuff, you know, nothing has changed. Mm. You know, it's not like I released stuff and my stuff was doing bad mm. kind of thing. You know oh, what I'm yes, yes, you know, yes. So uh, I don't think I had like, I don't feel like that at all, to be honest. When I you got in the game, different. who are you close with? Obviously, Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else were you close with? Um, I think most of the guys, to be honest, are actually not even um, in the scene like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never had like, I never built those type of relationships with the, with the peers and stuff, you know. I'm not that sort of person, actually. Yeah. So I'm still cool with the guys, but I don't have those relationships with like, I don't know, so and so. So Casper will still take your call now? Um, I don't know. We'd have to call him. Ricky? <laughs> Would Ricky take Probably. a call? Yeah, he's huh? got a song with Ricky coming up. Uh, an, a goal coming up? Yeah. yeah. Oh, then he would. No, nah, he would. He would. I mean, I, I actually just spoke to him before we came here. The first song like you had with Ricky, I remember checking out the video and I was like, who's this kid featuring Ricky? Because, I mean, he was a big deal. Still is. Yeah. That relationship and getting him on the song, did you have to pay him for the feature or was it one of those organic and it was not like a paid feature? No, nah, it was organic, man. I think... I think, wow. you know, uh, I mean, depending on who you are, where you're at, you know, the minute you start paying and stuff, you know, it's, it's a little bit weird. You know, when you pay, that means you're not worth it, you know? Mm. Ooh. No, not even in a cold way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no but it is cold. You're right, though. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. It means the guy would never step into studio with you for free. Yeah, it's almost so like I'm putting my life on the line for you. Mm. You know, and there should be a price for that. Mm. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? So it's it's it says something about you when they charge you. 
Yeah. Is it true you sold off like knockoff sneakers back in high school? I did, bro. Yeah, I did. Of course, of course, <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I remember getting like uh, dope sneakers. Then was difficult, like you know, and getting an Air Force or whatever it was. You know, that's just it's a mission. Yeah. So there was this guy called Bush. This guy every day after school, he walked past there because we used to chill like after school. There was there was a church opposite. That's where we chill outside the church, and this guy would sell his stuff and. He'd come there, be like, yo, I'm selling these Air Forces, blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, I remember the one time I told my mom, I'm like, Ish, dude, this is going for cheap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you know, yeah. 500 bucks or whatever, you know. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I, I bought the thing. My mom, you know, I had to talk to her. Yo, she eventually bought it for me. And then the one time, I don't know, my boy Dells, yeah, he came up to me like, boy, <laughs> I found heaven, you know. <laughs> And then I don't know, the one time he went to Jersey and stuff, I don't know how he went there. I think it was with one of the friends. And he found the spot. We called it the spot. Yeah. And it was like heaven. It's like, I got to take you to this place. Yeah. And I went there. I was like, what? All I saw was an opportunity. I was like, bruh, we can actually make money off this. Wow. And I was one of those guys like, yo, nah, yeah. my uncle's coming from China, wherever. <laughs> yeah. I can get you the sneakers. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's how I started selling the and sneakers. And you made some real money there. We actually, we actually made quite a bit of money. I think like, you know, I mean, we're young. Mm. Still in high school. If we were smart enough and actually stacked up that money, uh, stacked it up, I could have bought your studio, yeah. Yeah, I think so, mm-hmm. yeah. But you weren't thinking that, you know. You were just, like, happy of the privileges, buying the pies <laughs> and the Fanta grapes. <laughs> 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 no limit, yeah. yeah. But it was dope, yeah. It was a dope time. Um, okay, because I've never heard you speak for Neg. Mm, uh, I'm Zulu, actually. But I don't know what suit. Hey, it's the first time I hear it. Sounds funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gunkin. <laughs> but but funny enough, properly, I, I actually properly. always speak Vanak. No. Yeah, that's my friends. For real. Yeah. So why you never speak like like in your music? In your raps. Yeah. Ah, man, like, I think you, when it comes to music, right, I think do whatever you're comfortable with, mm. right? I don't want to, like, uh, go and make a Vanak song because this and this is booming. You know, I want to do what... You know, I'm not pretending to do what I do. Mm. You know, this is what I like doing. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, when we find the song where I eventually do it, yes, you know, it needs to sound right for me. I can always hear it when it sounds a bit weird. Like, you know, you were just doing this because of whatever. But your music is heavily, uh, heavily influenced by American, ne? Yeah, that's all I was watching. Ne? Like, like growing up. Mm. That's all I was watching. I was watching it heavy, mm. you know, and... Because you talk about clocks and stuff. I'm like, what is this one saying now? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. In what sense, bro? You know, the context is the, is the important part. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's all I was watching growing up. That's all I knew, you know. I wasn't actually really paying much attention to what was going on this side. Oh, for real? Yeah, I was a big fan of, like... Snoop and Dre, yeah, those vibes growing up, you know, and later on, 50, Lil Wayne, all those guys, and yeah, that's where that's where most of my influence came from. Shit, man, you know, one of my favorite tracks from you is Come Alive, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck, love that song. Mm-hmm. Yo, you know, it's so Mm-mm. Come Alive. Mm-mm. Oh, <laughs> they didn't play it in that club of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's not the club of these, man. It's the club of ours. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know Come Alive? No. Wow. Oh, dog, you got to listen to that track, dog. Mm. But the beat sounds uh, like you bought the beat. What, what? Yeah, I got I got the beat online. Like, you know, to actually even address this, right, I don't see a problem with that. Mm, mm. Like, yeah. it's there for that. 100%. You know, so it's like, what's wrong with it? Well, what was it? Were you getting backlash? Yeah, the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for it's real? A, it's an online beat, nigga. It's a beat. What? Someone made it. It wasn't made by like some machine. Why the fuck would they say that? I don't know, man. But I guess like you know, um, where we are, you know, you have to. We're still growing mm. as an industry, as a country as well, and as people. So I also understand the concept of it. Like is. Were you the first Almost to buy a beat like from, from online? I don't know. I think niggas have been doing it, ne? Yeah. Nah, Oaks have been doing it, man. Like, yeah. I remember, um, what's the, what are these guys? That, uh, uh, old guys, pop, 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 one, two, one, two. Uh, 
what are they called? Sna- isn't it Snazzy D? And Snazzy D and them. That beat RJD2. I'm, I'm pretty Cash sure. Society. Cash the Society. RJD2's yeah. beat. I'm pretty sure they didn't like sit and meet him. Yeah. People have been buying beats online. Yeah. It's it's okay. I mm. mean, it's exclusively yours. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that. I don't get people who are going to say that's whack. But all of a sudden, sounded like uh, who, which song did it sound like? Sound the like, little baby song. Yeah, the little baby song. So that song actually how it came about, right? I'd actually done a freestyle over that beat, mm. you know, and then we said, "Nah, man, let's have our own song." Mm. Then just having a freestyle on top of this guy's beat. So the beat is the little baby song. No, no, no. We actually made our own beat. Oh, but yeah. we're inspired by that. By one. the song. Oh, yeah. and I actually don't find anything wrong with being inspired. Yeah, you know, yeah. like we all get inspired. Hundred percent. You know, that's 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 my opinion. You know, I, nothing is new. Like if you listen to to hip hop, bro, there's no new flow. Mm. Like I don't think there's anything that we say. Okay, this is. Wow, this is from yeah. Pluto or something. Yeah, yeah. How did it come about that you get Casper on it? Hey, buddy, um, he killed you on that song. Hey, yo. You think so? Yo, fuck! <laughs> I was going in there. I don't think so. Bro. What did he say? Give a two hundred k. What does he say? Hundred k. Yeah, for the sex. For the sex, and then conversation. Transact. Uh, yeah. Transact them with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's it's. I guess it's all about like how you listen to verses. Yeah. Right. Uh, like, I'm telling my story. I'm not getting on the song to say, no, my mission is to kill you. Oh, type yeah, of thing. I'm yeah. telling my truth, yeah, actually, yeah, as yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. You know, so you can't say my truth is less dope. It's the <laughs> truth, right? <laughs> yeah, we tried this as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. How does the chorus go again? Uh, okay, I, want, I can't be rapping for free. They yes. Send me the budget, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Ah, no, that's a dope song, man. Mm. Even the video. Mm, mm. What was the mission with the video? Because you had like a whole movie going on. With the yeah, movie. yeah. Uh, I wanted us to actually shoot a movie. Actually, mm. you know, I was uh, with one of my friends, and we were talking about, yo, you know, like we need to shoot more movies and stuff because that's stuff that I'm actually interested in. You know, I think it's something I'll do later in the future. Oh, you got and an interest in that? Yeah, I do. Who, which movies are your favorite? Like, who do you like? Yeah, that's difficult to oh. say that I have a favorite, you know, like a favorite of all time. Directors, producers, mm, mm. who do you like? I don't even think I, I, I look at it in that sense, you know, where oh. I have specific directors that are like my favorites. Not really, you know. Genre? We're on Netflix right now. What genre um, are you going to? I haven't been watching much of Netflix, but I like uh, I like dramas, actually. Dramas? Drama so movies, like thriller? Movies where you have to sit and listen. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like yeah. pay attention to the story. That's That's... Like more of my vibe that fuck you up in the mind, ne? yeah. You have to, you know, if if you miss one thing, then you might miss everything, yeah. I like those, get it, you know, yeah, yeah. So, you shoot a movie, bro, like yeah. direct the whole thing, yeah. I definitely would, wow, I would like a dope ass movie, yeah, yeah. By the way, did you uh direct any of your movies? I mean, uh, uh videos, most of the videos, yes, is it? actually, yeah. I'm actually like involved, yeah, you know. Uh, I'd say it's only a few where I wasn't actually involved but Saturn was actually heavily involved mm. so when you say direct a music video what do you do like in the actual music video do you just say okay cool want this shot here like that oh um I, you know i don't i don't know it in a technical form mm. but i'll tell you what i did I, I told them like what i'd like us to do okay you know uh, what i envision mm. for the video you know scenes like this mm. let's do that you know, let's have the acting scene or whatever it is. Those are things that I brought about to say, guys, let's do something like this. How can we, you know, make it come to life? Yeah. Yeah. And we're talking off here. How are music videos now? Because I know back in the days, a lot of <laughs> crazy shit used to go down behind music videos. Ah, man. I don't really do that stuff, bro. Nah. I, I, I leave, like, you know. So, I don't know. I can't tell you, like, to say, you know, it's like this or, you yeah. know. So it's never gotten I don't think it's like that, bro. It's no, not like not, that anymore. Well, in, in my case, I don't think we had a situation where it was one of those, like, nah. Yeah. I don't think so. And then the track Low with Aesop Ferg, mm-hmm. how did that come about? Um, We met at the club, you know, and apparently he, he heard my music and he wanted us to make music and stuff but i thought it was one of that like one of those club talks you know mm, mm, like mm. Ah, this is going nowhere cool um the next day he dm'd me he asked me to um send him some uh songs that i have and see what he likes and i sent him three songs 
And one of the songs was Low. Mm. And then he chose Low. And he recorded it wherever he recorded it. Then he sent through the verse. And that's how the song came about. And yeah, I remember we, we, we were told that we wouldn't be able to release it because he signed or whatnot. And they need like some, what, some out of an approval from the guys up top, mm. something like that. But, you know, it came to life eventually. When you uh, uh, feature an, a prominent American artist like that, does it affect your career in any way? Does it take you to another level? Does it help? It exposes you, you know, in 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 in, in some way. Do you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but like that type of stuff is is, is unpredictable, bro. Mm. You can have a song with whoever, and it might just not work. Yeah, yeah. For whatever reasons, you know, I, I don't know, right? Oh, yeah. But in terms of fan base, yes, it does expose you to, to that side. You know, the guys okay. that are listening to music like that. Yeah. You know, they would, you know, say yeah. And you still wish to go to America and like fuck it up that side. Um, yeah, but like my endeavors now are different in terms of going to the States now. Now it's more so for the platform. Oh, okay. You know, when I was younger, I wanted to like pee there yeah. or whatever the case is. Now it's, it's a bit different for me now. You know, I want to, uh, I just want the platform. Mm. That's it. And less of not even like, uh, collaborating with people in that sense, you know, mm. I'm, I'm, that's not where my mind is. You know, my mind is on the platform because I believe we're all talented enough. Yeah. Like here. Yeah. yeah. You know, wherever you are, actually, you know, yeah. good is good, bruh. You yeah. know, red is red. So. And music you know, is music. Music man. is music. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, we just need the platform. Yeah. Which is crazy because, I mean, if you listen to radio here, I almost feel like the somewhat of a trade, right? Because they're playing all the American music uh -huh. here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then. They almost say, okay, we'll sign the people here to sell back to the people here. Why can't they take our music from here and sell it there? Oh, I get what you mean. Because in America, they're not playing our shit. They're not playing our, you know? Yeah. Why are they playing their stuff here? Yeah. Good question, you know? Yeah. But why aren't they playing our shit in America? Maybe it's because it's nothing they haven't heard. And that and guys like Wiz Kid, they break through maybe because it's something a bit different. But I don't this, know. This this is this is my opinion on it, right? They playing their music too here, but okay. it's also nothing that we like. We've heard it as well, mm, you know. But they playing the music I here. See. They flood their music here, mm. you know. Why don't they give us the same opportunity to flood our music there and let the people decide? Because it's not like they're playing our music there on the radio like mm, mm, mm. Uh, channels yeah, or stations yeah, yeah. or whatever the case is. You know, we don't have that mm. opportunity. We, we're getting our music played here. So you're saying that people want to hear the music? No, no, that no. That side? Not even, not even necessarily uh, based on the people wanting to hear the music, but having the opportunity to have the music being played. Yeah, regardless. Just like they're playing the music here. Mm. You know, why is our music not being played there? Do you get what he's saying? Let it be an equal I, I, play I, I, I field. I get what he's saying, but you see, the thing is, mm -hmm. their music is being played here. You know why? Because at Metro FM, someone's going to call and say, play me Drake's latest song. Oh, there's song. a demand. There's a demand from but, the but, ground. But we're taking it back to what? The platform. You know, Drake is, is the bigger artist. In America. In America, because mm -hmm. of the platform that he has. You know, oh. their music goes all over, not, not only here. Mm -hmm. Now think about world. being a South African hip-hop artist. Right. Already like uh, hip hop is not the biggest genre here. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. who's your music being played to? You know, and it's only being played here. Mm -hmm. You know, and it kinda goes out here and there. Do you get what I'm saying? Whereas in there, their objective is to push your music wherever, like the rest of the world. You know, whereas in here, they push your music here and sometimes here and there. But to get to what he's saying, right? Mm -hmm. So sharp, that happens. Yeah. We, uh, we're sharing the platform both here in America and South Africa equally. Okay. So now your song plays in America. They listen to it. They're like, ah, it's just another... Uh, it's another Asap Ferg. Asap Ferg wanna be all so, I mean, future. Mm, yeah. This is what I think, right? Let me say, um, let me use their scene. Yeah. When I hear a lot of the guys, the new guys that are coming out now, I can't even tell the difference. Mm. True, for real true, you know true, it's like true. guys are doing the same thing mm. yeah. and the guys are not like extraordinary mm. where the guy is actually you know uh, skilled in, in, in whatever he's doing mm. you know it's just saying things that we can all say sure. or do yeah. actually so it's like you know what's going on yeah. Yeah. you know is it, is it a platform thing I don't understand what it is because mm. I'll be listening to some guys' songs and I'm like I'm listening to the song, yes, but I'm trying to understand what's so special about the mm, song. Mm, mm, mm. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, 100%. You know? Yeah. So that's 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 my opinion on it. 
But then in that same light, if you take your song to America, what's special about your song? Yeah. So that's what that's what I mean. Let the people decide. Okay. You know, I don't know neither. Mm. You know, as a creative, I can believe I'm special. You know, but it's up to the people to decide. Mm. You have to put it out there. The platform. We all need the same platform. That's it. Then. But yeah. numbers have shown that if you do music that's more African, okay, chances are it will land that side because okay. it's something they're not exposed to, so and they demand it, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even listening. I I'm listening. <laughs> Listen, eh? so I, I want to explain something to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Something that I've 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 uh, uh, paid attention to, right? Sure, sure. Some of the Nigerian artists, yes, when they started off making music, they actually started off trying to make hip hop. Okay, really? Yeah, you know the American hip hop. Yeah, the American hip hop. Yes, sure, sure. a lot of them. Sure, sure. Right. Yeah, and I don't know. I think in terms of skill. I don't know if they could get it right or mm. get it to be on Just the like, level or yeah. whatever the case is, mm. right? So, cool. Now, an artist like Drake, mm. right, when they feature him on the song, they don't say, no, we need a Canadian sound. Oh, okay. okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. You see, so why is it when we're making music, at the end of the day, we're all making music. Mm. Why is it when they come here, they say, we need an African, African sound. sound. Why can't they say, this guy is good at what he does? Oh. I see. Mm. I see. I see what you mean. Do, do, do yeah. you hear what I'm saying? So it's like coming and saying we need an African podcast. Yeah, like you know, you speak too much English. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for real, like black coffee. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Black coffee told a story where Asha wanted to make a song with him and he gave him beats. Mm -hmm. And then Asha came back and he was like, No, I want that African thing. I want those drums, that you know. And he was Black Coffee was not interested based on that at o that time. Also, bro, like our reality right now, us, right, living in Joburg, mm. you know, it's not like we we like native Africans. Mm, mm, you know, mm. we're actually living in modern times. Yeah. Which happens everywhere. Mm. It's okay for your city to be modern. Mm. We're still native Africans. Yeah, we are. Just, yeah. Yes, in a modernized We, we are, but we're living in a modernized time. Mm. You know, Africa's not a jungle, basically. It's not a jungle, yeah. yeah. And it's like um, technology, bro. Mm. It's, it's, it's bound to happen. Mm. Yeah. We're supposed to evolve. Mm. That's what's supposed to happen. Mm. You know, so I mean, you're taking your kids to schools where they speak English. Yeah. What's going to happen? We're going to speak English. Do you get know what I'm saying? So mm. it's it's that thing. That's what I mean. Shit. By, by the thing, yeah. Well, how was it like when you met up with Jidenna? Um, it was cool, bro. Like, you know, it was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a cool guy? Because he's got a big of both, like African and yeah. he's been in the American space as well. Yeah, he's he's good. Like, he's, he's, he's cool, bro, you know. I don't know, man. I just have this thing as well, like... You know, I'm human, bro. You know, when I speak to people, I speak to people on a human level. Mm. And region doesn't make us, like, doesn't make the one more special than the other. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. So it's like, it's the same. Like, mm. you know, mm. if, you, if you're an asshole, you're an asshole. Within a miracle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, Sounds so. like he was an asshole. Was he an asshole? No, he was cool. He was cool, you know. But I, I just don't want to make it, like, you know, he was cool because he's American. Yeah, I can't Nah, be. you know, like... And then what about the, the Gali, the Italian rapper? Yeah, he's cool, bro. He was cool, like, you know, on a human level, actually. He's, yeah. Uh, Where are you he's meeting all guy. these guys? Dude, it's funny because Gali um, once DM'd me, but I didn't see his DM. And I don't know, he knows someone who stays here that eventually reached out to us. And he wanted to link up. I didn't know Gali at all at the time, mm. you know. And then we found out that oh no, Gali's a, he's a big like Italian rapper, yeah. white not, you mm. know, and stuff like that. And he wanted to link up and chill. Yeah. And then we linked up and chilled. One of my friends is actually shooting a music video for him, here. Oh wow! In, in Zanz. Shit. And then they linked up. They did their thing, and yeah, we we from then on like we became cool. His friend, who's a DJ, what's his name? Uh, Mali. Yeah. Uh, he's a plug like in the European like scene in yeah. terms of being a DJ so he uh, when Lil Uzi and them were still trying to tap into that market yeah. he was a DJ playing like oh wow the song he's a big know, deal unreleased yeah. you know he's a big deal like in that sense yeah, yeah yeah shit man and then your team what does your team look like right now who you got working for you working for me yeah <laughs> i don't have anyone working so for me we're working together okay who's in your team now uh my team um 
it's actually quite a few people now that I think about it. Yeah. I can't name Me. like yeah, name for name and stuff, but yeah, there's this Dells is is, is 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 my partner. That's the guy that I work with like everyday basis. Most of the decisions we make, I'm with Dells. Mm. So I would say that. Then we're also working with Platoon. Then I'm also working with Utah, which deal with more of my uh legal stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you gotta have that on lock. Yeah, I know you have to. And then Havoc the manager? Are you still work with him? No. Uh he's my boy. Mm. We good, we good. But it, it was nothing personal. It was just uh, a business decision that we had to make at the time. Mm. But we still good, like we oh. talk like every day. So you guys started together and you just had to part ways for business. Yeah, for business, yeah. Yeah, because you gotta business grow, decision. you know? Come again? You gotta grow, you know? Yeah, he also has a grill. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta grow. Oh grow. <laughs> <laughs> that is being spicy. <laughs> Hey, speaking about your grill. Yeah, but but I don't think it's yeah, man. It's it's growth, bro. I guess yeah. That's speaking awesome. about your grill, I heard a funny story. Hey, did you hear about the song? No. I heard you once lost um, your grill at the Lazer's house. Yeah. And then you found it in Cape Town. Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but have you been to the Lazer's house? Anything can happen there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, no. That's... You don't remember, dog. Um, it was just one of those nights, bro. You know, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how I lost my grill, man. I think I was probably eating because that's when I take it out. So yeah. But and then how do you find it in Cape Town? Yeah, yeah. Uh, some calls were made, and you know, nah, man. Honestly, um, the guy who made the grill, yeah, found it. Oh, yeah, yeah, How found much it. is a grill, bro? Um, I don't know, hey, but this one that I made, uh, I had, I had uh, a set. Like both my 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 upper my upper teeth and down here, it was sixty k. Yo, fuck out of here! I know. That's my rent for the year. Sixty. Sixty, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's how much it it is actually. Yeah. And there's a guy in in, in SA who's doing grills. Yeah, Doctor Smiles. Dr. Smiles made legs. these ones of my legs. Yeah. Yeah, legs. He made these ones of mine, and apparently that was a discount. Shit. Yeah. What? So grills are like a thing? I don't know, man. I mean, I've always wanted one. Yeah. You know, I do know that this is actually a lot of money. Mm. You know, I actually lost. Uh, I lost both. Actually, I had my my top rows. No, actually, yeah, I lost the set, mm. and then I made a last set. Then I lost the one, and then I still have this one. So I said, hey, I don't know. We'll see. So when you eat, you gotta take it out. Yeah, you have to take it out. And then when you go down on a girl, you gotta take it out. I don't go down, girl. <laughs> Nigga, you need to come alive, bro. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been down on a girl. Oh, come on, man. What the fuck? Nah, he, 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 he has been down on a You can see bro. those, you can yep. see those smiles. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> see some shit. Exactly. That's how he lost his first grill and found it in Cape Town. Let's go well, down on there. something. You know that guy lives house. Hey, bro. Hey. How is your mommy game, dog? Because I've never heard anything about you, eh? Ah, like ah, move, Frank actually. Cassina's doing this. He's with this girl. Yeah, because I move in the shadows, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Are you like famous girls or normal girls, Instagram girls? What are you into? Anything I find attractive. What do you find attractive? Who? What or do you what? find attractive? Yeah. It depends at times, bro. Right? Mm. Yeah, it depends. Like I don't know, but I think more so personality for me, vibes, man. Vibes. Man. Yeah, like you know. So I could be ugly as shit, but if my vibe is dope. I mean, you know, that's that's subjective. <laughs> that ugly is, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. It is. I mean, you could find someone attractive. Yeah. And I may say, ah, that's not the one. Yeah. But would you smash someone who you don't find attractive, but they've got great vibes, you're vibing with, as you said? Who, me? Yeah. No. Mm. So I it's wouldn't. not just about the vibe. Exactly. No, of course, of course. I mean, she, she, you know, I have to find her attractive. Then the vibe makes sense. Okay. Then you know, I mean, like, just like you, I'm sure it's the same with you. Uh, no, no, it's not the same with me. <laughs> you don't think so? Nah, no. smash anything, <laughs> anything that walks, talks, and breathes. Uh, on the song, no talk, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. You say a few months ago I was heartbroken. Yeah. Man, can you believe it? Mm. True story. True story. Yeah. Who broke your heart, Frank? Listen, you're a fucking rapper, dog. 
Yeah, but I'm human. Yeah. Before I rap, I'm human. I be mean, yeah, but I feel you. Yeah. Um, nah, I don't want to like do that to her. You know. We don't even so know her. We don't even know you talk about. Yeah, but now they're gonna know. Her. Famous. It's your show, bro. Ah, you don't have to tell her name. We yeah. don't have to know the name. Oh, what did she do? Oh, yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did oh, she didn't do? do anything crazy. Actually, it was complicated. Like family vibes. You know your family vibes. Or her no, family. no, no, no. Doesn't matter what my family say. I mean, I love him, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Her family. Her family. Yeah. Oh, they didn't want you. I would say. Oh, know, they didn't want you. In my know? opinion, yeah, that's what I think. Did you go there with the grill? Yeah. Yeah, hey, that's the problem. Oh, come <laughs> on. Nah, man. man. <laughs> I also went there with respect, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. Oh, so you her family fucked up your relationship. That's what I think. Mm. Yeah. So you probably were heartbroken because you really loved this girl, ne? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Damn. I mean, that's that's the only reason you'd be heartbroken. Yeah. I mean, a girl you don't love, would she break your heart? Nah, not you know at what all. I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah. So yeah. What was it about this girl that you loved, bro? I don't know. Actually, it's actually a lot. Actually. Ne? Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. How do you tell? Because you're a rapper, you got pussy. You know, flying left, right, and center. Girls want you. Ah, but you don't take everything, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah. This type of thing. So how do you know? Okay, this is this one. Okay, I can vibe with this one. Where heads at actually? Mm. Like you don't want to be talking to someone you feel like you know you're alone in a room type of thing. Mm. Do you, I don't know if you get me. I get you, but I feel like you only know the head after you've smashed. You know? Nah, not well, like you don't meet a girl and say, "How's your head?" No, no, no. I do. I mean, then they give me head. <laughs> <laughs> Your head is good. <laughs> Ten out of ten for that head. Like head if you meet in a club, dog, how yeah. are you gonna know what my head is like? Nah, but I mean you, and I'm sure you know your experience, bro. Yeah. Over time, you know what type of girl or what type of person you're dealing with. But that's what I'm saying. Over time, yeah. after I've smashed, yeah. and now we're chilling, having a conversation. Yeah. That's when I'm like, oh, okay, cool. She's got a head. Nah, but I think I think the girl who catches you before you smash is 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 is, is, is the special one. Mm. I'd say, yeah. Because if you have to smash to find out, like mm, it's already late, ne? I think I think smashing is more of a uh, a mental thing, bro. That's what I think. In what do you way. mean by that? Like, for instance, uh, a girl to turn her on. Look, man, you can be the Mac Daddy all you want, but you know you're not gonna turn every single girl on. Okay. Type of thing. But if she's attracted to you, like who you are, what not, it's gonna be on a hundred mm. by default. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Whatever the case is, mm. that's what I think. Oh, that's when you make love. I guess whatever your type of love is, you know, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> love can be anything. Man. <laughs> <laughs> can be hard as shit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, hey, you strike me as like a clean cut guy, eh? Mm. Doesn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Abides by the law. Nah, Locked nah, out, nah. got 80s at home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where's no. his mask? Gee. <laughs> 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 hey. uh, that's the kind of guy you are, eh? Um, you know, nah, he doesn't I smoke weed, does, bro. You don't smoke weed? He doesn't smoke weed. Smoke and weed, so bro. many rappers smoke weed. Yeah. Have you tried it? Um, Yeah, definitely. I've had like puffs for sure, but I don't smoke it. Mm. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but it's just how it makes me good. feel. That's cool. Doesn't do lean? No, 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 no. That type of stuff, I don't get it. Shit, have you ever been arrested, gotten shot? Come on, give us something. <laughs> no, I haven't been shot, bro. <laughs> 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 uh, why did you leave Cutthroat Records? I was never with Cutthroat like, Records, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're just, uh, we're in the process of trying to find uh, uh, somewhat of an, of an alliance of us working together. So they were trying to sign me, but we're trying to figure out if our relationship is going to work mm. as a collective. Mm. You know, mm. because Who owns Cutthroat? Um, I don't know if it actually still exists. Oh, actually. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't think it still exists as a company or whatnot. Yeah. But it was owned by uh, Beto mm. and Nape. You know, Beto is actually uh, a friend of mine. Mm. Uh, so yeah, it's own was owned by them. Oh, you took yeah. a jab at Nape in one of your songs. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You <sighs> said uh, record execs check yourselves. Another man's riches ain't your wealth. Okay. That was for Nape, eh? no. Ah, that was for Nape. For any record exec. Yeah, no, 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 no. But it's not like that, bro. You know, we we all still on good terms actually. Yeah. I think everybody was young, excited. And chasing the dream. Yeah. yeah. So right now you're doing everything by yourself, ne? You got your own label, own your masters, all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We have, we have. Uh, 
the label that I have isn't based on like signing artists or whatnot. It's just so we can operate. Oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You still making money from your old music? Uh, I think so. Ne, that's just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the hardest lesson you've learned in the game in your short stint in the game before? Mm. You know, you remind me of dog mm -hmm. Kent. DJ Kent. Is it? Yeah. Kent. Yeah. Oh, with being private. Yeah, Kent, ne? All he did, we'd go to a gig, play, doesn't drink, mm -hmm. drinks water, mm -hmm. doesn't mess with the mummies. Mm -hmm. As soon as he's done, he's out. We out there fucking popping bottles, you know. That's why you'll never be on the list, Kent. <laughs> you'll never be on the list. Um, so you don't know. You don't. You can't say that. Kent. You don't know someone. He's know. Right, he reminds me of Kent, bro. You don't know, you don't know what people do behind closed doors, bro. Ah, but not Frank. You can see he's clean cut. I'm sure he, he clips his own toenails, this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually did that this morning. You like, see? Oh, wow. You're crazy. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> but who's supposed to, actually? Yeah. What, somebody else does your toenails? Yeah, a woman does. Oh, you're living nice. <laughs> I want to be like you and I grow up. He's living soft, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the hardest, bro, I don't know. I think staying focused, man. A lot happens in this space, you know, and um, most of us um, have a rags to riches type of story. Yeah. And getting accustomed to this new space mm. takes some adjusting. Mm. Not used to some things. You, and know? you, can, you can never prepare for it. You can't, you, you, no matter how much yeah. someone can tell you, yeah. you know, mm. that's why you need to focus. I mean, I think it's okay for you to lose yourself a little bit, but always get back. Mm. You know, into the focus zone, like meditate, whatever your meditation is. You meditate? No, not like that. Like, oh, you know, like okay. I don't sit and, you know, yeah. do whatever, you know, but isolate yourself, get your space and just sit back and look at what you've been through, what you're trying to achieve, all that stuff, yeah. set new goals. Yeah. Look at your old goals, you know, that type of vibe. Uh, I, I mean it in that sense. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I would say just focus because it's easy. It's so easy to to lose it man mm. it's it's super easy and you've worked so hard to to be where you are Shit. you just lose it gone I'm sure you're tired of this question but what happened between you and Speedster <laughs> you say I'm tired mm. I don't know what happened from my side mm. you know um, I actually don't know what happened I can't tell you okay let's, him. Let's, let's try go back he approached you to do a song ne? yeah yeah he did so he approaches you mm -hmm. to do a song which song was it Gonji it was I a big song it was a song for I think what's that guy's name? Uh, young Swiss, actually, yeah, Young Swiss, yeah, the Young Swiss. Um, it was a song. I think we we're doing a show together, yeah, and we we're traveling together, actually, in yeah. the car, yeah, right. And he played the song, and I was just like freestyling, like, ah, oh, this, this is dope, blah blah blah, type of vibe. Oh, okay. You know, that's that's where the conversation started. Mm. Then he uh, texted me to say, "Yo, can I do the song?" So I kept on taking time, mm. you know, because he's busy. Besides being busy, sometimes the song's just not working out. Oh, okay, you're not feeling it, you know, like something like that. Yeah, sometimes I'm not feeling me mm, on the song mm, mm, type mm, of mm, thing. Mm, you know, mm. Nothing wrong with the song, but me. Yeah, okay, cool. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and 100%. The only thing I would say about the situation is, man, you have my number. You know, you can, you can, you can tell me how you feel. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because those type of situations, bro, they can get out of hand. And not because of any 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 of us involved, but everybody else around us mm. can make it something else. It's not supposed to be. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I do. I don't think it's that deep, though. But no, but I mean, I think for anyone, actually, mm. you know, I don't think people should just um, they should consider like what it is that they're doing, mm. you know, and what it may entail. Because sometimes it's it's almost like um, when you start off doing what you're doing. You're doing it because you love it, right? Then you become this person that people idolize. Sure. And now you have to be cautious about what you do because what you do may influence some kid. Yeah. And says, I did it because of... Frank, so you need to yeah. think of mm, 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 mm. those things mm. type of thing, you mm. know? It's just, yeah. And you haven't spoken to him since, it. like... No, definitely have. Like, we're good. Like, I don't have a problem with him. So you guys could do a I track. don't have a problem with anybody. Yeah. yeah. You could, guys could do a track. Yeah, we definitely can. Uh, yeah. Is it true you really pulled up on AKA with your gang? With my gang? Yeah. No. You didn't, eh? Nah, I didn't. I was, I was like, what? Yeah. It's Frank. Right. You, good, you good with him? Hmm? Are you good with AKA? Yeah, no, we're good. How come you guys have never made music together? 
Um, he did send some songs actually. Mm. Um, I think songs that were on his album, the album that he uh, last released. Bavamania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. did send some songs. I just didn't have verses at the time, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, man. Mm. So now, where we at? What are we doing? Are we releasing music? What's going on? Releasing music, you know. Yeah. I want to release an album finally. Fuck, dope, man. Drop some shit. Yeah. Let the people hear my story. Yeah. Get to know me more. Yeah. And I just want to do more dope shit. Wow. And travel the world from this this thing that we do. Yeah, man. I'm trying to travel the world, man. We have to. Oh man, I love traveling, man. Where do you want to go? I want to go to London, actually. London. Yeah. Wow. I want to go to London. Like it was never a thing I wanted to do, mm. but now I actually want to go to London and uh, Brussels. Brussels. Uh, yeah. Brussels. Belgium. Yeah, Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Belgium. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, where else? I'd say. Yeah, you know, I still want to check LA out. Uh, yeah, the others are. I actually want to still go to uh, Ghana. Ghana. Yeah, yeah I've been oh, hearing really a lot of nice Ghana. things about yeah. Ghana, man. I really want to check Ghana out. Yeah. Who's that calling speech though? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it's actually Havoc. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Havoc, Havoc, Mob Deep. The manager, nah, you know Havoc from Mob Deep. Oh, yeah. Used to be ahead, nah. Yeah, yeah, I used to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, Havoc, Mob Deep. <laughs> he Weird. calling you right now. <laughs> he was like, oh, hey, oh, this is manager. Okay. What's your relationship with uh, IMDDB? Um, no relationship, really. Mm. Do you know her? No. You don't know her name? Mm. <laughs> I knew you don't. <laughs> but for the sake of the podcast, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she a girl? Let me Google it. Can I Google it? Yeah, check her out. Yeah. Actually. Check I her out. Then, 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 then I'll scream. <laughs> She's the one you went down on with your grills. <laughs> <laughs> it's too far away. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. British British singer. Mm. Was well, she big that side? Mm, tell me she's doing her thing. She's wow. Cool. Mm. She looks like uh, Erica Badu vibes, you know. Yeah, yeah. She she went more into that side like later yeah. in her career actually. Yeah. Uh, because I used to like download music videos and stuff back then, and that's how I actually found her music. Oh, I okay. didn't know her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then she was she was a vibe, man. So what's the story? Are you are you working with her or what? I want to work with her actually. Oh. She was uh, she once uh, reposted like some of my music. Come alive, actually. Oh yeah, come yeah, alive. yeah, yeah. Smash, then, bro. You know, we we I started. I DM'd her. You know, like, All yeah. Right, yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we should work. <laughs> I we, we know how that story ends. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know, I know we should work. Uh, yeah. So, so I heard rumor you signed to a major label. You're not signed to any major label. No? Doing your own thing. Doing my own thing. Just do it like that, man. No, man. Like here's it's hard though, thing, bro. bro. Like yeah, like it's it's not something I'm encouraging people to do. Like go do your own thing. Mm. You know, uh, you need to know who you are first, bro. Because it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy to actually like. Uh, do your own thing. Mm. It's 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 difficult, bro. It's difficult, you know. Uh I guess we're just waiting for what makes sense for us. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think about, you know, like uh we seeing a lot of rappers now venture into like piano, like mix a bit of piano sound in their tracks. What did you think about? It? What do you think about that? Um I don't think anything actually. Like mm. do whatever you feel you need to do, like I don't. I actually don't have a problem with I'm a piano at all. I think we needed it in the country. Like, uh, I always say to my friends, I can imagine other countries going through this pandemic without I'm a piano. Oh yeah, that's what mm, we had, you know, shit. For, for real. Like, it's it's a thing of ours. Mm. It was yeah. a distraction, bro. Yeah, I mean, you know, it didn't feel that bad. Yeah. I mean, it's bad, but you know, yeah, it didn't feel yeah. that bad, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't have an issue with it. Like anybody can do whatever it is that they want to do. Would you jump on it? Who me? Yeah. Yeah. If I find something that that makes sense wow. for me, it has to sound like you know yeah. it was that type of night, or yeah. that feeling, or whatever it is. So yeah, I, I I don't have a problem actually. So you're releasing an album, or you just you're doing singles now? I'm dropping a single now. Mm. I would have dropped it actually. Yeah. Um, Title Forever mm -hmm. with Ricky. Nice. Uh, and myself. Uh, yeah, it's a single that I'm releasing for now. And I want to release a body of work nice. afterwards and stuff. What is it about Ricky that you young cats gravitate to him? Like, all these guys love yeah, Ricky. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about, like, um, the other guys. But for me, in our own personal journey, is uh, the opportunity he gave, man, you know? He didn't have to. You know, he presented the opportunity there and 
he's uh, involved. Mm. You know, it's not like someone who comes and goes, mm. and like in your life want, type yeah. of thing. Mm. Like in, in life mm. itself, mm. you see. So I mean, I'm I'm cool with him, like on that, on that, on that basis. You see. Mm. So um, that's what I appreciate uh, appreciate about him the most, actually. All right, cool. We're gonna play a game. It's called What Must Go. Okay. Are you ready? I'm gonna give you two hip hop, uh, two artists. You must tell me which one. So must whoever go. I name goes. Yeah, goes. Mm. Zari, Zari. Okay. All right, let's go. Tear gas, squatter camp. Ooh. I love slicker, man. Uh, but I'd say squatter camp. Must nah. go, right? Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Go, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Squatter camp must go. Who's also more? I mean, oh uh, yeah another chance yeah, but go, dog. go away go away yeah. go away it was actually one of my favorite songs at some point Dude, yeah tear gas is you can't match tear gas with hits bro they got more hits than squatter rest assured no guys squatter paved the way for a lot of people don't get me wrong but hits hits when last we at the gas. club i've never heard a tear gas song in the club bro all i hear is more yeah. and you hear squatter can Okay, so the the old school classics. Mm. You don't hear tear gas? Nah. They only drop a more, am I lying? I think so. You don't oh, hear drop a more. Come on. These DJs. No, but, but they actually they actually had um there's a song that they have in the music video they're wearing like overalls and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. What's the name of that song? Squatter. Uh, tear gas. Uh, tear gas. No, no, that's not tear gas. Uh, uh, squatter. squatter camp, yeah. Mm, the other one. <laughs> the other overalls. <laughs> the other one. <song. laughs> it's not clap song. Is the clap song? No, it's not the clap song. Ah, it's a clap song, actually. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's another song. The clap song is different, but I mean, yeah. It was a banger, like it's a club banger. Yeah, it had that vibe. Bro. Oh, it wasn't in a club, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by then. Shit. All right, Ricky Rick, Stoji T. One must go. Ah, uh, Stoji T. Oh, <sighs> he's dope. He's a OG and stuff. But Ricky's my guy, man. Yeah, mm. for real. So take uh, personal feelings aside, no, on a hip hop level. Nah, they, you know, I can't. Hey. It is what it is. Like <laughs> this is how it is right now. <laughs> You know, like he's endorsed by a cotton fest or whatever his Ricky's brand is. What is it? <laughs> nah, man, Ricky's my guy, man. You know, that's my dog, bro. Like, yeah, no, nah, all right, cool. Casper, aka <laughs> this one is a funny one, huh? No? Mm. Why is it a funny one? I don't know, bro, because it's like both guys played like you know, big roles in what they're doing. I would say aka actually, must go, yeah, I would say that. Oh, wow. huh? Hey, you must go. Yeah, that's what I would say. I mean, you asked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm <laughs> just <laughs> what? Hey, yeah. you must go. AK is actually like uh, I listened to his music obviously before. Yeah. Um, I listened to Casper's music, and he's actually I think he's the guy who paved the way more so for guys like me. Mm, yeah. To do what you want to do. Yeah, I get yeah. you. But I don't know how I'm basing this this decision because I mean, like, I like what Casper does on the business side, which is. You know, I'm big into that. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean. What's your favorite like, AKA song? Uh, what's that song? We the main attraction, clap for us. Uh, uh, which one is that one, sir? Oh, man, and the lyrics, I know these yeah. lyrics, but the, the song. Victory Lap. Yeah? Yeah. Victory Lap. Oh, no, but I think, actually, it's All I Know. All, all I, I Know. know. Yeah, yeah, AKA is yeah, a problem. Is yeah. yeah, all I know. I like that one that's got, like, a Snoop Dogg vibe. Uh, the one he did with Younger. Younger Snoop Dogg. Search, please search. Let me search. Younger. DreamWorks. Oh, yeah. Hey. DreamWorks. Oh, ah. <laughs> Did you hear how the beat came out? <laughs> <laughs> In this man, it was perfect, man. But out here, I, like, I, <laughs> what, what are you playing? Casper, <laughs> <laughs> your favorite Casper song. Uh, my favorite Casper song. Um, let me see. Mm, I'm trying to think. Mm. I like Destiny. Destiny still my favorite. Ooh. Mm. I like the, the 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 Father's Day song. Oh yeah, <laughs> father, father, my father. What is it called? <laughs> Superman. Yeah, I love that song. That's a Father's Day song. <laughs> is it? Is it? Um, what's that other one? It sounds like Bentley Coop, the first one. Bay Coop. Bentley Coop. Oh, Bentley Coop. Bentley he, has, Coop. he has one that he did before that. I just forgot the title. Good for that. Not good for that. No, no, no. It wasn't one of like the big singles. It was, uh, what's it called? Should I go to, th to his discography? Sounds like Bentley. From which album? I think it's Refiller. Refiller's the first one. Okay, eh? Casper, your first mm. Refiller. Oh, I think I know the song you're talking about. You're talking about 
The one, the opening lyrics is like, whoever thought that I would make it. I hope you bought it. Yes, that one. I'm not sure, bro. Yeah, I think. It's, yeah, I hope you <laughs> bought it. Yeah, whoever thought I would make it. It's similar feel to Bentley Coop. Very like. Tulu ding, fellow. Ding, 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 I hope you bought it. Ding, ding. Uh, hey, style hey. say legit. Should we play it? Let's play. I hope yeah, you bought it. Yeah, with the piano. Play. play I hope you bought it. We leave it. Ding, eh? ding. We? We leave it. We leave it. Not that one. Wait, nah, Bentley Coop, know, bro. It, then it doesn't sound like Bentley Coop. I don't know, actually. Put my game. No, so I don't TV know. TV, uh, dog show. Like, I can't be dog show. Like. Is it feature? It doesn't have a feature. It's just him. No, nah, it's just him. It's probably, I hope you bought it, bro. If you said it's not a big hit, uh, like a, a big single, because it's a very dope song. Like, it's one of the songs. No, it's going to fuck with me, man. We need to know song it is, man. Play it. Play I hope you bought it. Yeah, please play I hope you bought it. Whoever thought that I would make it. Scoop told me to take down names. Scoop. That's what he says. He says Scoop told him to I take down names. I oh, no, I hope you bought it. Yeah. Hey, love Scoop. Eh? Not anymore. <laughs> On the last album, you, were, you didn't like Scoop. This is the song you like. Yeah. We're living good. That, that's not Bentley Coop, though. <laughs> Doesn't sound similar. All right, cool. Let's go. Aries, Nasty C. One must go. Um, Ooh. Trying to think about it. Hmm. This is interesting, actually. Mm. I'd say for the sake of the flag, I'd say Aries, actually. Must go. Yeah, for the sake of the flag. Sure. Ooh. Damn. If you get what I'm saying. No, I don't. Slick talk is coming um, for you. No, man. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I mean it in the sense that, you know, Nasty's holding down the country. Yeah. He's our international artist. Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, in that sense. Mm. But rapping, rapping? No, Aries is good. Nah. Yeah, he's good. He's good. You guys have never worked together? Can rap. No, we haven't worked together. That'd be fire. It would be. Let me give you a female. Muesli uh, and um, Naughty Nakai. Who should go? Yeah. Uh, ah, nah, Braga's my dog. So, Muesli. Muesli's got to go, go ne? Yeah. Mm. Shame. No one ever picks Muesli, eh? No one, bro. Hey, one day, bro. <laughs> What's your favorite breakfast? Say muesli at least. <laughs> He's got bars. <laughs> okay, last one. Uh, the LES and Shane Eagle. I mean, sorry. Shane Eagle and Yaksa CPT. Yeah, I know. Today you gave me the hard ones. Isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one. Um... Because I think they both, you know, are necessary actually and good. Mm. Um, <laughs> I don't know actually. This one. Yeah. I actually don't know. Think about it. Shane I'm, Eagle. I'm thinking about it. Mm. We've got Shane Eagle. Help on me the think left. about it. We've got Shane Eagle on the left, right? Mm -hmm. J. Cole wanna be, right? Mm -hmm. And then we've got. <laughs> we <a> youngster <laughs> on the fucking right. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> Should I go on? <laughs> you can't say one of you, man. Just inspire, that's all. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah J. Cole inspire, you're right. Mm. Yeah. Inspire. Youngster CPT inspires himself. <laughs> mm. One is J. Cole inspired, the other one is hot as cold. <laughs> <laughs> Who you choosing? <laughs> <laughs> he inspires himself. <laughs> um, no. I actually wouldn't remove anybody, like, both of them, like, they'll, they'll still stay there. Okay, who would you do a track with right now? I think both actually. Mm. No, I would actually, yeah. realistically. Yeah. I would. I right but one, one might kill you. <laughs> who, me? The other one kills everyone who features him. I don't think I've been killed. Ah, Casper killed you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then and Youngstar killed Casper on, uh, on his song. I don't think I've been on, killed. Um, what's the song they did? Um, no, but nobody knows mm. on, on the latest no, album. Don't get me wrong, uh, that, that song with Casper, no, the hook, yeah. flow, knows. beat, dope. And the verse? The verse, I liked. Uh, 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 um, his verse more. His verse. You like what he's saying more. Yeah. And your favorite line is the 100K for the sake. Yeah. Transact and then she left. But have you heard my verse? Okay, let's hear it. I don't hit us up with I, the verse. I don't think, I don't think I'm hit us up. To be I can, honest. Let's hear I'll, it. I'll catch the bars. Hit us up. I'll okay. Catch the bars. <laughs> See the thing that you like lines. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah, I love you like lines, like you like you like metaphors. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I like good. I like bars. I like bro. a story. I like I like when your metaphors, like 
Oh, you're a storyteller. Story. Oh, you're a storyteller. Who, me? Yeah, you like stories. Yeah, but I tell my story. Oh. Yes, yes. It would be yes. nice. Of that water. <laughs> yeah. Now hit us with the verse. Huh? The verse. No, he's gonna play it. Oh, oh, he's oh, gonna play it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Aya. Oh, yeah. A few moments later. Shit, man. But he, but he got his Yo. style from yours. Like the way he's, he's flowing. Eh? The, da, 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 da. He nah, got that from you, ne? I don't know. Nah, I the think flows so. are You'd different. have to ask him. Oh, the flow is different. I feel mm. like they're different. Oh, the flows, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, let's go through your verse. Let's go through your verse. Oh, must I read it out? Yeah. 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 I have it open here. Let me yeah. see. So I say, Okay. I can't be no regular, regular. Okay. Right? I bought me a studio, then I set it up. You know, I didn't just buy the studio. I bought it, then I set it up. Okay. Right? Then I started the office from Show Money Profits. The bookings, the bookings started popping from cellular, the phone. Then I told Havel, Ooh. be the manager. Sat and watched like the ops. Hey! Started Ooh. flipping like a flop. Hey! You know? Pa -ka -pa. Pa -ka -pa. <laughs> 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 White Ben's own road. Couture straight from the boat. Whoa, couture? Ooh, couture. 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 Oh, like, couture, like clothes. Clothes. Straight from the boat. Women all sent and fold. Big bands can fold. Whoa, women all what? Centerfold. Yeah. Like, you know, magazines. Ah, yeah. so all you women are centerfold. I'd like to think. I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then I say, uh, big bands can't fold. I get my wisdom from a foe. Yo, your oh. dad. No, a foe. A foe. Friend or foe, you know. You oh, know. you get yeah. your wisdom from my foe. Oh, shit. Maybe this was high grade. Yeah. <laughs> ah, his verse is high grade. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I swear my skin turned cold. I moved through pressure too composed. Hmm. Will he make it? I suppose. Whew. Well, I used to drive a white cadet, take the off ramp on Colette. Mm. Ah, you did drive white cadet, didn't it? I yeah, did. he sold it for the studio. For the studio, yeah. 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 Uh, Dells used to have a connect right there in Bramley. Oh, Dell, computer. Dells. No, Com Dells. No, Dells is right here. Oh, I thought you meant like that Dell with Wi Fi. <laughs> Dell used to have a connect. Oh. But it's a computer gig. <laughs> and it's Dell, exactly, right? It's a, yeah. it's a computer brand. Wow. But then um, Dells used to have a connect right there in Bramley where we had some plugins to get. You know, if you record music, yeah, yeah, you need plugins, need plugins VSTs, all yeah. that stuff. Ooh. And that's actually by Ammunition's place. Mm. That's where we used to get the plugins and stuff. Mm. The plug oh, there. he was the plug. He, he, yeah, he yeah. was the plug, I guess. Yeah. Uh, visions they couldn't see yet. Mm. You know, back when I wasn't a threat. Oh. I was still at it before Tilda came with stories with threads. Hey! Ooh, Had to stay calm and collect. Mm. Now bank is all I collect. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, no, I didn't listen Ooh. to it actually. I didn't listen Ooh. to it. <laughs> Oh. Uh, that's what I listen, yeah, I know, I know. So what now? Give him a, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're right, because that is your story. That's what you've been saying the whole interview. Yeah. Wow, yeah. man, that's the story, yeah. Like, So is it still killed on the on the song? No, like, no, 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 no. You redeemed yourself. Mm. I think if you rap slower, then I'll mm. understand. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Casper comes with the uh, his transactions. Fuck him and his transactions. <laughs> this is real life shit. Yeah, dog. dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> that could be real life too. It probably is. Yeah. Mm. Oh, makes sense, dog. Mm. I like that, man. Mm, That's a dope dog. verse, bro. Frank thanks, Casino, dog. thank thanks, you so dog. much, man. One I'm more friendly. time. Um, I always ask the, you know, you're a chiller, man. Mm. So you're expecting this question. Mm -hmm. What do you want to be remembered as, man? Mm. When it's all said and done. After we've killed Casper. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who gave opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. For real. Yeah. Who are you giving opportunities to? Everyone after me. Mm. All my peoples. My peoples, peoples. Yeah. Family. And that's what it's all about, bro. Yeah. That's your legacy right there. It is. Yeah. It is. So, yeah. Oh, how did you come up with the name? The name? Yeah, you probably maybe have answered this, maybe. Frank Casino. Um, uh, in, in primary, I was called Young G, you know? And I was this unit fan, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. I used to like Young Buck. That was my favorite guy there, you know? Uh, and oh, then, Young Buck. Yeah, and in high school... 
because I was a hustler, I was selling the sneakers and stuff, you yeah. know, mm -mm -mm. the casino came into play. You know, they used to call me Cheesy in high school. So it was Cheesy Casino. And then later, I realized that I'm actually quite frank. You know, I get, <laughs> get to the point. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're fr yeah, Frank Casino. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this nigga smart, eh? No, he's very smart. Dude, I, I, I'll be honest with you, because we first, we, uh, the first time we met is today. Mm, yeah, it is. I actually. had a different perception of you, bro. What did you think? I want to hear, actually. Nah, I thought, like, you, a typical rapper, like, you smoke weed, okay. fuck bitches, okay. uh, love cars, okay. and you think you're the shit, okay. you know? Okay. But yeah. actually, there's, 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 like, like, I think we could chill and have a bri. And yeah. talk about real life shit. Yeah, do you understand Definitely, what I'm saying? Yeah. And have a conversation. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like this, this, this. Yeah. There's very seldom rappers <laughs> you can have an intellectual conversation with, apart from just music. I feel you. You, you know, you. and you strike me as one of those guys. Yeah, but you guys are also doing like good, bro. Like I told you earlier, like my, my my boy told me, like he started watching your show from the very beginning. Yeah, actually, yeah. and he watched it grow. Yeah, and he kept on telling me, "Yo, dog, this guy's show is actually." Picking up, yeah, it's crazy, you know, and that's actually how I started watching your show. Wow, because oh, I watch you're a chiller. it, Come yeah, again? he's a chiller. Oh, dope. I'm saying you're a chiller, a chiller, yeah, yeah, mm. dope. I actually watch it, like, you know, and I actually enjoy watching it because I mean, there's other people doing it, yeah, you know, and it, yeah. it, it's you just don't get that thing that we get here, yeah, we make it look easy, man. It is, yeah, you know, it's what you do, yeah. You, you I mean, he's got 10, 15 years under his belt, okay. Uh, as yeah, a broadcaster, yeah, 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 dope, yeah. dope, and Ghost Lady. No, she's got no, no, no broadcasting experience. <laughs> but she's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just good yeah. house. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> eh? Good house. How do you know Ghost Lady's good? Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are like, Ghost, she's married. good. <laughs> nah, bro, yo, like you said, only thing under my belt is fifteen years, uh, <laughs> right? No ghosts, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting again with the bars. <laughs> Man, we are here, podcast and chill. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, I gotta mention we are coming at you live from Mashabella Studios. Uh, if you want to use these studios, just email podcast at mashabella.co.za. That's podcast at mashabella.co.za. Boom. <laughs>